is by the time we're going to close our hands, I want to make sure the guy in front of me is like making faces like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's fully, it's back pressure. Take your thing. So that's your, so that's your outlook on the setup, right? It's like really. Uh, how can I make it so fucking simple that the day that I decide to attack, it's very simple, right? Make a fist and squeeze stuff like crazy, right? Like mm. crazy. Make sure that I maintain bunch of false grips throughout my training right and i do that go star wrestling where i am going to set that person on that table the closest to my pin pad and the closest to me knowing that that's the spot where his side pressure can be utilized the least mm -hmm. i know if i mess around in here i'm going to get met with all kinds of problems right if he pushes me towards his pin pad and to me an inch, right? I know that that's the setup where he can't do much anymore until I move or I take it further, right? I take that spot, create the worst connection that he could possibly find. And no matter what, I am so trained that when my hand closes, regardless of what's in between there, my goal is to get as skinny as possible to make the fist as far away from as possible at the same time that I raise up to fucking strike, knowing that I've already had the cadence down. Right, 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 right. It doesn't matter what you think the cadence is. Soon as we go to a set grip, <laughs> right. after about six times, I'm going to know what it looks like when you close his hand first, what it looks like when you close mine first, and um, what it looks like if we close together in one of these other rule sets. So if I keep it that simple, I think I'm good, right? Make a crazy fist and keep it as close to my body as possible in every exercise that I do and never stop repping the set grip referee's grip. I got you. Well, what I was really from, yeah, yeah, what I was just really getting from this, you're interesting, your setup is you focus on all that throughout the setup. And you know, people always ask you, like, do you cup, do, do you cover your knuckle? Do you do this? Do you do? And it's like like for me personally, I kind of find myself in a situation to where I'm really just doing what you're explaining. I'm not maybe necessarily making a fist, but I don't really care. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know if my shit is always snuck. Or I'm just trying to make sure that connection is there in whatever way is possible. If I'm like this, this, and this, all I know is by the time we're going to close our hands, I want to make sure the guy in front of me is like making faces like, uh, he's <laughs> fully, it's back pressure. It's not back yeah. pressure, you get the strap. And that's all I care about. And I don't know if my knuckle is covered. I don't yeah, know. So the um, next step for you mm -hmm. is to not feel it. Right. You just have to know it's there because you don't want the person stronger than you to feel it. You only want the guy who's weaker than you to make the bad feeling worse. Right. Okay. By their okay. attack. Yeah. So that, and don't get me wrong. What a tough thing, right? It's like, yo, don't tell anybody. Don't ask the doctor if the baby's a boy or a girl. It's the most <laughs> gratifying. And be like, oh, no, no, no. But the truth is, if you do that, it's, it is the most, it would be the most, the best way to do it, right? right? The problem is, is you're like, ah, hell with that. I need to know, right? And needing to know will also get you the wrong answer against the guy you can't beat. The only way to beat the guy you can't beat that's stronger than you is for him not to feel it so that he doesn't gotcha. move and he gotcha. does the same regular thing and he's not broke arm defensive. He's still being offensive right before he finds out he should have been right i got you yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah yeah that, 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 so it's all i mean it's very simple sense. like yeah i'm not trying to win the florida state arm wrestling tournament i'm trying to convince someone to give me the 50 grand to take on the superior champion of egypt in the free states of you know peru so that's why you would want, I'm, I mean, what is your goal? You know, and I think that if you shoot for beating the gods, you'll run over the rest of the people that are just trying to win the, the Colorado state championships. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's always the better approach. Yeah. It's like,